Let's prove some identities. Here we have some nice cases. We're early on in the identity proving thing. Yeah, we'll be proving a lot of identities in this class. Some people are like, why nah, 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 can't I just remember them? Yeah, you do just remember them, true. But what this is gonna do is it's gonna give you a way of trigonometric manipulation, which is going to pay dividends in the future, especially when you get into your calculus. All right, sure. So if we're gonna prove an identity, there's only one way I'm gonna show you how to prove these identities. And that's starting on one side and through a chain of equalities, end up on the other. So let's take a look at our green identity up here. I want to start on the more complicated side. Which side looks more complicated? Um, cosine tangent or sine? Right, the cosine tangent. That's my left hand side. So here I'm in a bit of a pickle. I'm not really sure what to do. Whenever you're unsure what to do, one strategy is to change everything to sines and cosines. My cosine is already a cosine. My tangent, however, I can use my ratio identity. That's what? The sine of theta divided by the cosine of theta. Do you see a common factor there? The cosines, yeah. And they fight, uh, uh. And then you're gonna end up with the sine of theta? Absolutely. And that's your right hand side. And therefore, it has been shown. Okay, let's take a look at this guy in my black identity. Once again, I want to start with the more harder side, or at least the one that has the appearance of being rough around the edges. Here it looks like my left side. My left side is the sine of theta over the cosecant theta. Now I'm not going to be lazy and I'm going to write the left hand side. Okay, so I'm in a pickle. Whenever you're stuck, especially in the beginning, a good thing to do is to rewrite the dang thing in sines and cosines. So we see that guy, he going to be equal to the sine of theta divided by, oh wait, the cosecant. It's the reciprocal identity of something, something. Yeah. One over the sine of theta. All right, so if you'd like, this is a fraction in the numerator. That's the sine of theta over one. All over, one over the sine of theta. And then you know, dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by a reciprocal. You gotta flip it before you multiply. This is the sine of theta. Uh -huh, times the reciprocal of that denominator is the sine of theta all over one. Fun. Then these fractions multiply just like all the other fractions. Straight across. And then sine times sine is sine squared theta over one. But you're probably not going to write the over one. And what do you have? The right hand side. And it has been shown.